Welcome back to the channel, everyone. I hope you're all doing well. Today, we're going to be reacting to a How to Train Your Dragon live action first look. This is kind of a BTS kind of thing. I did react. I didn't actually react to the first trailer because I saw it before I saw Wicked in theaters. My first thoughts on that, I think it looks beautiful. I cannot wait to see it. But let's go ahead and react to this first look behind the scenes. I decided to revisit How to Train Your Dragon because it felt like an amazing opportunity to it's not same only direct director. a live action movie, as but this, some of the animated jumping ones. Jumping back into a world that I frankly miss. Here we go. Finish the script. First draft. I miss these characters. I miss this world. And I love movies that have a really poignant message from the animated buried ones. deep within. There it is. A moving spectacle. Adventure. Whoa. Wonder. Oh, there's the cage. And that's what this movie really packs. It's okay. I won't hurt you. It's about a regular the most kid who gets to bond with a powerful animal. He looks great. And there is something that's Mason universally also wish pretty good about that. There's the theme. But at its core, this is really a story about that finding Butler. your voice and being brave enough to follow your a own conditions in a world that wants you to become like everyone else. Dad, I can't kill dragons. Marching to the beat of your own drum side has been such an important lesson for me in my life. And I'd love to carry that Nico forward. Parker. I suppose it's just one question, really, is would you like to play Hiccup in the movie? There's no way. This is nice. There's no way, are you serious? Thank you. Oh, my. I can't. This is the best moment of my life. Would you like to play Astrid in How to Train Your Dragon? Oh, <laughs> of course. When it comes to Nico and Mason, these That's two beautiful shot. just sort of came alive in the room, and suddenly I felt that they both embodied wait for the romance. character of Hiccup and Astrid live in a way that nobody else could. The first movie's animation looks so Jura weird Butler now. is stoic. He is the co-creator of the role. To watch him step right out of the animated that, movie, that, and here he is oh, in front of is stoic the stoic It's and it such about. a treat to watch. He looks exactly My like hope an animated is version. that those who had seen and loved the How to Train Your Dragon films will be keen to see what we've done because it comes from a place of love and it comes from a place of respect. This whole thing is just one big giant adventure and I wake up every day feeling so thankful that I get to do it. Welcome to Berk. Ah, that's amazing. I don't like the logo, but it looks good. All right, I do want to spend some time kind of talking about that first look, talking about the teaser that we had. As I said, I saw the teaser in theaters. I think it looks great, and this is coming from someone who thinks the How to Turn and Dragon movies are one of the best trilogies in my eyes. It's like one of the best animated trilogies also. I don't know if it's my favorite animated trilogy, but it is up there. It's just such an enjoyable franchise to watch and a very emotional uh, franchise. And we have the same director from, I think it's the the second the second one and the third one i'm not sure if he directed the first one but he is directing this as he directed the animated films you know people do ask why why do we need it what's the point you know and that is a good question but i still will take it you know as a how to turn a dragon lover if i can't get a fourth animated film i'll gladly take a live action movie and you know people are complaining it's going to be like a shot for shot remake I mean, that's pretty, pretty true. It's probably going to be like 95% remake, shot for shot, but there's probably going to be some differences. But then, you know, people complain about shot for shot remake, but people would have complained if they were to change the whole movie. It's like, you can't really win in that scenario. I'm not really mad about it because you're going to have very different performances. The visuals are going to be insane. That's why I like how we're getting a live action one, because the visuals just seeing, you know, dragons and this huge Viking stuff, these action sequences in live action I think does it more justice and you can just see it in a whole new realm and reality and you know new kids are growing up and this will be you know a kid's new favorite movie so let them have this you know it's going to be i think it could be more mature than the animated ones and they are they are pretty mature they tackle some hard themes they got a good romance story and we got to talk about mason thames you know nico parker i don't think i know some of the other supporting actors are cast but i do want to talk about the main two uh, Mason Thames, I loved him in the Black Phone. I haven't seen him in anything since because he is pretty busy with filming this, but I'm so excited to see him in this movie. I think he's going to do a great job as Hiccup. Nico Parker, I loved her in The Last of Us. Uh, I don't think she's been... Oh, she was in that one Hulu movie. Uh, I forget what it's called. It's something like Sun or something like that. Uh, it is a great movie. Go check it out. It came out this year. She was great in that movie. I cannot wait to see, you know, Nico Parker in this role. I think she's going to do a great job. Same as Mason, Mason Thames. 
hope they have some great chemistry because you do have a romance between those two characters first they start butting heads and they have a great romance story it, it is terrific you know I, i'm just very excited this is coming out june so it's gonna be a summer movie hopefully it makes a lot and then they can make the second one the second one is such an emotional movie i remember crying while watching that second animated movie it's so good though these how to turn a dragon movies are are you know terrific if you think they're good rewatch them again you'll think they're amazing but i cannot wait for this movie man this this kind of teaser got me a little emotional because these were parts of my childhood growing up of watching these movies and i still put them on try to rewatch them all every every single year there's so much heart put in these movies and the score the score is just terrific that first ride that hiccup has on toothless that score behind that it is amazing but that's my reaction to the first look of how to turn the dragon live action i think it looks terrific i'm not really on board with the logo it looks a little too mature but still i really love this stuff in here uh leave your thoughts down below what you guys did think about it if you enjoyed my reaction make sure to leave a like but i'll see you guys in the next one peace out